Hello everyone and welcome back, my name is Chameleon and in this series I share opinions of mine which most likely fall in the minority. So today, in my opinion, I believe that Joker movie from 2019 is the most overrated film of at least the last five years. Now, I'm not trying to state this as a fact, I'm not trying to change any minds. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. <laughs> but why? Although it has been phenomenally successful at the box office, writer-director Todd Phillips' film focused on the origins of the most famous bat villain left me wondering why. Forgetting for a moment that attempting to rationalize and explain one of the most inexplicable characters ever created is a terrible, terrible idea doomed to failure. Phillips' choices over the course of Joker leave much to be desired. Not a descent into madness. Stealing its plot from two different Martin Corsese's films Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy, and adding the layer of DC Comics on top which acts more of a middle finger to fans than a celebration of the character, Phillips offers a script to explain the creation of the Joker. The movie isn't a descent into madness. Our lead character is already far gone by the time we meet him. Instead, Joker examines how a loser like our protagonist became the most famous villain in Gotham. And in one of the film's most troubling aspects, excuse the behavior by repurposing the blame of the Joker's actions on society itself. The Joker doesn't kill people, society kills people. Joker is a joyless exercise that offers nothing save the performance of Joaquin Phoenix as a struggling clown, Arthur Fleck, who gets taken advantage of at every turn leading to his transformation. Over the course of the film, Fleck is belittled, beaten up, loses his job, fails in his attempt at stand-up comedy, and has the psychiatric program which provides him with his medication shut down for lack of funding. He also discovers from his mentally unstable mother about a personal connection to Thomas Wayne, which further focuses the film, and flex psychosis on class welfare. Society has failed him. When he takes action to defend himself on a subway, killing a group of Wall Street scumbags, he not only finds purpose, but the lower class of Gotham City rallies around the image of a vengeful clown taking action for them. Though, to be fair, Black doesn't give a damn about anyone other than himself, with the possible exception of his mother. Nowhere to go. This movie is set in an economic downturn of the 1980s. Gotham City is a hopeless cesspool that mirrors Fleck himself. The look of New York at that time is one of the few bright spots for the otherwise dismal film. There's also nowhere for the story to go, except to play the sullen section of the audience that believes society at large is to blame for all of their problems and any action that the Joker takes against it is justly deserved. Context. And then there's the problem of trying to fit Joker within context of the character which spawned him. Arthur Fleck is no Joker. First, he's knowable. And really not that interesting to be honest. He's a toddler on a disproportionate rampage for both actual and imagined slights against his character. Second, he's an idiot. 
far from the deranged clown whose motives and schemes would confound Batman for decades. Black has simple needs and desires, all too easy for even the most bored audience member to work out. This isn't the Joker created by Bob Kane, Bill Finger, and Jerry Robinson, who would grow in prominence and stature over the years. It's a sad wannabe, screaming, look at me! And then, just like a toddler, not knowing what to do once he has your attention. They could have called the movie literally anything else and removed the small amount of Gotham or Wayne references and the movie would have been exactly the same. It's really not a comic book movie or a Joker movie, let alone something that would fit into the Batman universe. The Joker title just helped to sell tickets. Comparing. Personally, when thinking about comparing the live action Joker performances and films, as absurd as that may seem to some, I really don't count this as one. The character who Phoenix is playing in this movie is just not the Joker who Romero, Nicholson, Ledger, and even Leto are drawing reference from in their performances. In my opinion, at best, he's a precursor to the real Joker. We've been witness to such a character many times before, where a Joker-like character will appear just as Fleck has here, but yet be killed off before the real Joker steps up later after taking some form of inspiration from the precursor. A great recent example of this would be the TV series Gotham, where funnily enough they weren't actually able to use the Joker name, they had to instead just use the letter J. But moving, moving on. Not the real Joker. But Kami, I hear you say, Joker is a major studio picture in 2019 with a $60 million production budget looking to reach the largest audience possible. Well, Phillips goes out of his way to leave his work open to any and all possible interpretations. The results are an obnoxious example of how you can't have your cake and eat it too. If Phillips had actually tried to say something about capitalism or masculinity or any of the other themes quote unquote Joker glances at and then discards, he'd have risked alienating some of his massive audience. Instead, the movie doesn't just lack ideology, it seems to have a second grader's grasp of the concept of principles. I've said all this and we haven't even touched on the age gap between Fleck and Bruce Wayne. Now this one was a bit harsher than some of the others and I get that, but the best part about this entire video which was a bit shorter than a lot of the others, is that Joker of 2019, being the most overrated film of the last five years, it's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. Just my opinion. It's not fact. Regardless of whether your opinion aligns with mine or differs, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below. I've also put links to my Twitch and Discord as many as a couple of other things in the description as well. While you're here, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, thank you for hearing me out. I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you all next time. But until then, stay safe.